The Soundwave simulation is an interactive educational tool designed to help students explore the properties and behavior of sound in air. By providing a hands-on approach to understanding the fundamental concepts of sound waves, the simulation offers a comprehensive learning experience that covers frequency, pitch, amplitude, volume, wavelength, speed, period, interference, reflection, and the role of the medium in sound propagation. The simulation is divided into several parts. The first part, the measure simulation, the two sources simulation, the reflection simulation, and the air pressure simulation each offering unique insights into different aspects of sound waves. The first part of the simulation allows students to explore the relationship between frequency, pitch, amplitude, volume, and wavelength of sound waves. Frequency refers to the number of cycles a sound wave completes per second, measured in hertz, and is directly related to the pitch of the sound. Higher frequencies correspond to higher pitches. Amplitude is the maximum displacement of the particles in the medium from their equilibrium position and is directly related to the volume or loudness of the sound. Higher amplitudes result in louder sounds. The simulation enables students to adjust the frequency and amplitude of sound waves and observe how these changes affect the pitch and volume of the sound. Wavelength is the distance between successive crests or troughs of a sound wave. It is inversely proportional to the frequency. As the frequency increases, the wavelength decreases. The simulation helps students visualize the relationship between frequency and wavelength, providing a tangible understanding of these concepts. The measure simulation part of the simulation allows students to measure the speed, wavelength, and period of sound waves. Speed is the distance a sound wave travels per unit of time, typically measured in meters per second. The period is the time it takes for one complete cycle of the sound wave measured in seconds. Students can interact with the simulation to measure these properties. By adjusting the frequency and amplitude of the sound waves, students can observe how these changes affect the speed, wavelength, and period. This interactive feature helps students understand the interrelationships between these properties and reinforces their understanding through hands-on exploration. The two sources simulation allows students to explore the interference pattern produced by the constructive and destructive combination of sound waves. When two sound waves interfere constructively, their amplitudes add up, resulting in a louder sound. When they interfere destructively, their amplitudes cancel out, resulting in a softer sound or silence. The simulation provides a visual representation of the interference patterns allowing students to observe the regions of constructive and destructive interference. By adjusting the positions and frequencies of the two sound sources, students can explore how these changes affect the interference patterns. This feature helps students understand the principles of wave interference and its practical applications. The reflection simulation allows students to investigate the role of a reflective surface on the direction of wave propagation. When a sound wave encounters a reflective surface, it bounces off, changing its direction. This phenomenon is known as reflection. Students can interact with the simulation to observe how sound waves reflect off different surfaces. By adjusting the angle of incidence and the properties of the reflective surface, students can explore how these changes affect the direction of the reflected wave. This feature helps students understand the principles of wave reflection and its importance in various applications, such as acoustics and soundproofing. The air pressure simulation allows students to investigate the role of a medium on the propagation of sound. Sound waves require a medium, such as air, to travel. The properties of the medium, such as its density and pressure, affect the speed and behavior of sound waves. Students can interact with the simulation to observe how changes in air pressure affect the propagation of sound waves. By adjusting the pressure of the medium, students can explore how these changes affect the speed and behavior of the sound waves. This feature helps students understand the importance of the medium in sound propagation and the effects of different environmental conditions on sound waves. The simulation provides an interactive platform where students can actively engage with the concepts of sound waves. By adjusting various parameters and observing the results, students can gain a deeper understanding of the properties and behavior of sound waves. 
the visual nature of the simulation makes abstract concepts more tangible. Students can observe the sound waves, their properties, and their interactions in real time, helping them to grasp complex ideas more easily. The simulation is flexible, allowing students to explore a wide range of scenarios. Whether investigating the relationship between frequency and wavelength, measuring sound wave properties, exploring interference patterns, investigating wave reflection, or understanding the role of the medium, the simulation provides a comprehensive learning experience. The sound wave simulation is a valuable tool for teaching and learning about the properties and behavior of sound waves. By providing an interactive, visual, and flexible platform, it helps students understand the fundamental concepts of frequency, pitch, amplitude, volume, wavelength, speed, period, interference, reflection, and the role of the medium in sound propagation. Whether used in a classroom setting or for individual study, this simulation can significantly enhance the learning experience and build a strong foundation in the physics of sound. Through exploration and experimentation, students can gain a deeper appreciation for the complex and fascinating interactions between sound waves and their environment.